dear friends, we discussed about uh, nature of education for sustainable development. As you know, teacher is the key resource person of uh, teaching learning system. And in this context, teacher input must be developed for fulfilling the goals of quality education and enabling learners to achieve the sustainability competencies. So today we will discuss about teacher development for education and sustainable development. UNESCO 2014-2014 highlighted <clears throat> the need for teacher development programs on education for sustainable development on following points. The <clears throat> first point comes in the context of instilling education for sustainable development competencies, the professional standards of teachers must be oriented to meet the sustainable development goals, particularly in the context of quality education. So in this regard, we will interpret teacher education as a matter of pre-service education as well as continuous development of professional competencies of teachers for quality education in the context of education for sustainable development. The second point, <clears throat> the UNESCO highlighted that in this regard, the teachers should be supported. The guidelines, preparatory activities, and support system should be prepared for meeting the goals of education for sustainable development where teachers' role will be considered as the facilitators rather than the dictators or the major source of information for teaching. So in this regard, the flexibility in <coughs> curriculum policy, it must allow our primary and secondary school system for a conducive teaching learning environment inside the classroom, in the school, and outside the school system. UNESCO also talked about the capacity building programs of policy makers, teacher education people who are dealing with professional development of teachers as well as providing support to different kinds of educators who are involved in sustainable development education programs. So, <clears throat> taking into consideration different teacher development programs, we must see that what are the goals of teacher development on education for sustainable development. The first goal is the knowledge of sustainable development. The teachers must be knowledgeable about the concept of development, the concept of sustainable development, the components of sustainable development, and the nature and characteristics of education for sustainable development. The second goal here is how the curriculum related to the goals of education for sustainable development competencies, they need to be developed among teachers as well as the learners. So teachers' competencies and learners' competencies related to sustainability must be developed in school situations, in natural situations. So teacher development programs, teacher education programs must be an inseparable part of school system. Third development is that the teachers should get hands-on experience. 
in real school situations the field experiences while dealing with learners in pluralistic conditions with inclusive approach of teaching and learning the teacher development should take place in this regard so teacher development in the form of pre service education must take place in real school situations the fourth goal here is experiencing to value embedded in pedagogies of education for sustainable development so when we talk about pedagogies we are talking about learner friendly pedagogy learner directed learning oriented pedagogy cooperative and collaborative learning oriented pedagogy so such pedagogy must be experienced and teachers should be capable enough to develop such experiences in teaching learning systems so these four aims that knowledge of sustainable development adoption of curriculum of phd competencies related to sustainable development goals hands on experience in real school situation for teacher development and experiencing the values concerning education for sustainable development are the four major goals of teacher development programs at pre service stage as well as continuous professional development programs so teacher development on education for sustainable development covers four areas <coughs> one area is knowledge of sustainable development of sustainable development goals and knowledge and understanding of education for sustainable development the second area of teacher development is that education for sustainable development competencies and such competencies must be an integral component of teacher education curriculum third area is the experiences must be rooted in natural situation of school dealing with the learners and learning conditions learning activities and practices that takes place in school and fourth area is experiencing the values of education for sustainable development now we'll talk about learning objectives for teachers to promote education for sustainable development there are 10 major objectives we have identified the first objective is to know about sustainable development and related topics and challenges the second area is to understand the discourse on and the practice of esd in the local national and global context so the discourse and the write ups the uh, coverage of experiences of people who are working in the area of sustainable development and education must be covered at local level national level and global level studies for teacher education we must develop an understanding of disciplinary based education interdisciplinary education and transdisciplinary perspectives and issues of education in local as well as global perspectives the fourth area is to reflect on the challenges facing promotion of the concept of sustainable development in local areas in regional areas and national areas as well as at international level and the importance of their field of expertise for facilitating sustainable development competencies and their role in this process fifth objective is to reflect on the dynamics of formal non formal and informal agencies of learning for sustainable development and to apply such understanding in the process 
of professional development. The sixth objective is to understand the ways in which the pluralism, the cultural diversity, gender equality, social elements of education for sustainable development, and how they can be made a part of educational system and educational process. The seventh objective is the practice and action-oriented transformative pedagogy that engage learners in participative, systemic, creative, and innovative thinking and acting process. So, this objective is directly related to the action-oriented transformation pedagogy in the context of local communities and learners' daily life conditions. The eighth objective is to act as a change agent. The teacher must act as a change agent within the process of organizational learning, that is formal education, to advance the school towards sustainable development. The ninth objective is to identify learning opportunities available in our own locality and the related sustainable development projects and to build the cooperative leaderships among learners and teachers. The tenth area is to evaluate and access learners' development of general sustainability competency and specific sustainability related learning outcomes. Dear friends, in this regard, if you see the goals and objectives have been outlined, then the curriculum objectives of sustainable development will focus on basic concepts of sustainable development from local, national, and international perspective. The research-based analysis of education for sustainable development processes in different learning settings, in the schools, in the colleges, in the educational centers, in the localities, that must be conducted. Education for sustainable development concepts from a local, national, and international perspective must be understood with empirical evidences. The next area is that we will have to study education from the perspective of a discipline, from interdisciplinarity and transdisciplinarity to face the challenges of sustainable development. Then, the project-based activities must be an inseparable part of teacher education system with specific problems faced by them in local level, the problems faced at national level, and the problems which are of global importance in cooperation with other educational institutions and research centers. The last part is we must emphasize on practical experiences of teachers with education for sustainable development in teacher education institutions as well as the schools. So the curricular objectives of education for sustainable development will have three domains. As you know, <coughs> educational objectives must be linked with the knowledge areas which are directly related to the cognitive functions of mind. The second aspect of sustainable development deals with the value orientation. They are known as social emotional domains of education. So social educational domain, social emotional domain 
will cover the values from the social perspectives and individual's engagement to appreciate and assimilate different value orientations related to sustainable development. The third area is the behavioral domain, which covers the skills, the participation, using the hand with coordination of mind and feelings. So, the ESD curriculum in the context of ESD objectives, it covers learning objectives on three domains. One, ESD curriculum covers the learning objectives on three domains, namely cognitive, socio-emotional and the skills. The social skills, the values and attitudes must be integrated with the objectives of ESD curriculum. The action related quality education and educational problems related to education for sustainable development must be focused in teacher education curriculum. So, <clears throat> we'll have to see that how teacher education curriculum will take into account three dimensions of educational objectives. Now, I will focus especially on the action related sustainable development goals related to teacher development programs. So, action related areas of curriculum of teacher development first covers the quality education, its concept, education as a public good, right to education, nature and concept of equitable and inclusive education and strategy. So, teachers must be powerful and they must be competent enough to adopt appropriate pedagogic principles for dealing with different areas of quality teaching learning process and quality learning outcomes. The second area of action related to sustainable development goals to be integrated with teacher education is that how to highlight the issues concerning the poverty, the social <coughs> welfare and the concept of poverty and the concept of zero hunger and what kind of projects can be adopted for minimizing the poverty and what kinds of educational programs will be developed to empower people to minimize or to abolish the hunger that is to reach at the zero hunger stage. The third area is that the teacher education should be linked with health education, health and hygiene, and well-being of people. So, health education, cleanliness programs, healthy life, the life skills education, so that will be a part of action orientation in teacher education related to sustainable development. Fourth area is the water conservation, consuming clean water, potable water, preserving water and providing sanitation inside the school campus and maintaining a healthy life at our home and at our own community level. The fifth area of teacher education is covering different projects on the energy conservation and how to practice and adapt different uh, opportunities for availing clean energy and maintaining the natural resources in the context 
of energy generation with futuristic orientation. Sixth area is that teacher education should focus on teaching and dealing with the decent work and economic growth and how the education for development of the skills, particularly the vocationalization of education, must be an integral component of school curriculum as a part of new education policy and teacher education should value the vocationalization of education and development of skills related to different work and opportunities for economic development. Seventh area is to study about the industry, innovations and infrastructure through different kinds of project works and how industry contributes to economic development, what are its impact on environment and social economic development that should be studied at teacher education level. Eighth is on focusing on the inequalities. In the plurality doesn't mean it must have the bifurcations or divisions or discriminations. So plurality will respect diversity but without any kinds of inequality or any kind of discriminations. So the idea of social inclusion is to cover in teacher education curriculum. Ninth is, what are the characteristics of sustainable cities and sustainable communities and sustainability is to be studied by urban area students and engaging urban area students by teachers to work on projects about sustainable cities and sustainable development practices in urban areas. Tenth is the responsible consumption and productions. The life skills must be part of teacher education where we must be aware of healthy life and proper consumption systems and having less or limited grids and being more concerned about our basic needs. The eleventh area is the climate action. As we understand, because of climate change, the weather are not being forecasted easily and many complications are coming up, the seasonal differences are occurring. So the geographic concept of climate and climate education must be a part of teacher education. So the climate education and the effect of different factors on the climate change is to be incorporated in teacher education curriculum. Then the teacher education should also cover the environmental aspects covering the water, preservation of water, the seas, the landscapes and the life on land and ecology. So the environmental dimensions covering the climate, the life below water, the life on land and ecolog ecological systems preserving our environment. So that should be a part of teacher education programs. Fourteenth area is covering the social dimensions, that is the peace, justice and strong institutions. The constitutional values which focus on liberty, equality, fraternity, tolerance, truth, non-violence, coexistence, cooperation, brotherhood, this should be covered in different kinds of programs incorporated in teacher education. In this regard, the cooperation and access to science and technology, that is also very much significant. Because we will have to link the indigenous knowledge system, indigenous technology with modern technology to conserve 
and preserve our cultural heritage as well as maintaining healthy environment and retaining a healthy life for future generations. So technology orientation is very much significant in the context of sustainability and in the context of development of environment, society and economy. The 16th objective is the learning objective of Sustainable Development Goal 4 that is related to the quality education. When I talked about Sustainable Development Goals, so here we are talking about education as a matter of public system and we must provide access to quality education and making use of our abilities for expanding the scope of quality education to each and every individual throughout life. The learning objectives of Sustainable Development Goal 4. So in this regard, we worked out on specific objectives of teacher education programs focusing on Sustainable Development Goal 4, that is quality education. The cognitive development is the teacher educators must understand the important role of education and lifelong learning opportunities for all formal, non-formal and informal learning as main drivers of sustainable development for improving people's lives and achieving sustainable development goals. So that is the cognitive area. The social emotional learning objective related to sustainable development goal is the teachers must be able to raise awareness of the importance of quality education for all among students. A humanistic and holistic approach to education, education for sustainable development and related approaches. The third area is the behavioral learning objective. The teacher educators must be able to contribute to facilitate quality education process in conducive environment at different stages of education. So, the would-be teachers who are the learners of teacher education programs, so they should be able to facilitate conducive environment and learning in the context of education for sustainable development. Learning objectives of education for sustainable development, capacity development programs for teacher educators. Dear friends, we are talking about you people who are the participants of teacher education program and we focus on teacher educators education. So teacher educators must be educated to prepare teachers at pre-service stage and in service stage. So, the Education for Sustainable Development program for teacher educators who are basically masters of education students, postgraduate education students. So, for you people, the objectives of Education for Sustainable Development are covered in seven areas. One is the pre-service teacher educators will understand the concept and cognitive learning objectives, nature of sustainable development. Second is the pre-service teacher educators will understand the parameters of sustainable development. The third area is the teacher educators will understand the areas of sustainable development goals. The fourth area 
of teacher educators education for sustainable development is the teacher educators will have understanding on the nature of education for sustainable development especially the role of education as main driver of sustainable development fifth one is the teacher educators must develop the knowledge of different competencies of education for sustainable development and practice these competencies for preparing teachers as agents of sustainable development the different competencies of education for sustainable development must be linked with the development of capacity building of teachers that is the seven objectives now when we talk about development of capacity building for teacher educators and teachers so we must have proper behavioral learning objectives so the behavioral learning objectives will cover here the course content outlines the course content must be linked with the con content leading to cognitive development of teachers the process related to socio emotional competencies of teachers and action oriented competencies of teachers so the course content will have four areas of teacher education that is the nature and scope of sustainable development and sustainable development goals second is the education for sustainable development and teacher development third area is development of competencies of education for sustainable development leading to reflective teaching learning practices among teachers and teacher educators the fourth one is development of research competencies among teachers and teacher educators particularly in the context of problems of education for sustainable development and development of professional qualities of teachers and teacher educators so dear friends on this area we have developed this program for teacher educators so you will study in detail about these content areas in this particular course thank you very much.